with the sound quality. But uh, Christianity, according to the Bible, Jesus didn't actually tell people to be Christian. Rather, it was a name given later. So we believe all these messengers came with Islam. The most important thing in Islam is God is one. We believe that there's one God who's created us and he's placed us in this life. He's the one who feeds us, he's the one who sends down the rain, and he's the one we have to return back to. Do you believe in God or? Do I believe in God? Yeah. I don't believe in God as such. Okay. I respect other people's okay. uh, religions and I like to understand them. Okay, no problem. The reason I don't believe in God yeah. is I lost my mum at a young age. Okay. Okay. And she was a lovely lady. Okay. Okay. And what happened to her, she didn't deserve it. Okay. Okay. But since but, then, yeah. I think as I've grown up in London, it's very multicultural, multi yes. diverse. Yes. And I've worked with a lot of uh, Muslims, Jewish, okay. Hindu. Okay. So I've learned to understand everyone's culture. Okay. Uh -huh. around the world. Yeah. And I want to, yeah, that's why I've got the Quran, as I wanted to uh, read it, understand it. Yeah, it's good, it's good. If I, if I just finish the, my very short conclusion of what is Islam, yeah, yeah, because and then uh, and, and, and then I'll, no, and then I'll come back to the point about you about your belief in God, if you don't mind. So we believe that God sent messengers and books, and we believe for three reasons, three main reasons: one, to explain who is God, his names, his attributes; second, to explain the way to God. What does God want us to do? What has He commanded? What has He forbidden? And then lastly, the third one. What happens when we meet God? What happens after we die? So, but the thing is, when you say that you don't actually believe in God, if you don't mind, what you've given is, is a, an emotional reason. Something obviously uh, extremely difficult happened to you. But does that mean that, the, that there's no creator or does it mean that you're not happy with the Creator? Look, I believe yeah. that I've, I've gone through a divorce recently as well. Okay. And I believe this is, I believe we on the earth. Yeah. You get to decide which path you want to walk down. Of course. And I think as you become more modernized, uh, yeah. multiculturals. Yeah. I think as long as you're not closed-minded, you're open-minded to everyone's yeah. opinion. Yeah. You can go through life and you can help people. Okay. And that doesn't matter uh, for me. It doesn't mean if you're like Muslim, Jewish, uh -huh. or Hindu, or Christian. You're not going and to it, for, discriminate. For me, yeah. You know, you can be a guy on the streets. Yeah. Just wanting the conversation. Yeah. I go buy him a sandwich. Okay, that's very. But that good. doesn't mean I'm religious on it. Uh -huh. I just want. I just think it's. Uh -huh. Helping, like your common man. Uh, yes. Not and maybe, this is, maybe, this is no, good. maybe there is a religious aspect into it, and I don't yeah. see it. But uh -huh. for me, I think it's a mutual appreciation of everything. And it's like your, uh -huh. it's like your aspect of it. Uh -huh. Versus no. the house. Yeah. Of, uh, no, but even even then, still the question of. How do we get here? Like, like for example, now, uh, now me and you are talking. How do we get here? Yes. Are we talking about Charles Darwin, or are we talking about? Yeah, there, there, I mean, there, <laughs> there, there, there should be an answer. Honestly, how we got here is probably a conversation that can go forever. Yes, no, I, I would say it's quite simple. There's obviously a point in yeah. creation that something happens. Yeah. And nobody knows uh -huh. truly what happened. Uh -huh. But I think that's faith, no? No, I would say. So you've got faith in yeah. order that it was a uh, higher power. Yeah. Or you've got faith yeah. that it was genetic and scientific. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I, I would say both have faith. Some, But I would say that this faith or this belief, it should be based on evidence. Yeah. L like, for example, a very simple example we're walking. And we walk for a field. Am I going to be on TV? <laughs> not, not TV. Better than TV. I am? YouTube. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Fine. Okay. We're walking. So, yeah, I was on Australian TV of the day, so. Okay. Yeah. So if we're walking through a field, and then we see a beautiful house, doors, windows, roof, everything, and we haven't seen anyone make it, 
We haven't seen any builders. Do you believe that someone built it? Well, the house? Yeah. Someone built the house, of course. It, it couldn't be the wind and the, enough time and the wind blew the water and the water mixed with the sand and the sand formed See. bricks. Yeah. I've, I've just literally just come from London Bridge. Okay. And 21 years ago, I sat in the same spot. Yeah. I watched a, uh, like a tree. Okay. It's overgrown now. Okay. But I, I sat there for uh, 21, 21 years later. Okay. And now it's like a bush. Okay. So, on that estimate. Uh, yes, yes. It's free. It's free, it's free, yes. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Gambia? Huh? You're in Gambia? No, Guinea, Guinea. Guinea, okay, alhamdulillah. Uh, yes, so you're saying about your tree? Yeah, yeah. Barakallahu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. You speak Arabic? Assalamu alaikum. Oh, very little, very little, yeah? Yeah. Well, I want to Sorry, brother, I just. It's okay. Sorry, man. How are you? Very nice. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, everything good. Yeah. Everything good. I saw you, I couldn't resist. No problem, no problem. But I believe you are in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Things happen to you for a reason. Then you can't be an atheist then. Uh, because the atheist, you you know, the, there's certain things that... An atheist is anti-religion. No. There's certain things which people, I think they don't understand. When someone doesn't believe in a God, you, and you just believe things are merely uh, chemical reactions, it actually leads to there's, there's no purpose. It's just chemical reactions. Yeah. There's no morality. There's no actual, absolute, uh, absolute morality. There's, it's just something which we make up. And also it means we're, we, we don't have free will which comes to atheism, which most people they can't accept. But still, back to the house. From your experience in life and your understanding in life, can you believe that this house made itself? No, of course it didn't make itself. Someone gave the person the skills. Okay. The person learned the skills to make the house. Yes. So then if and we take... the purpose to build the house. So now if you look at yourself. Yeah. You know the eyes which you see with, the ears which you hear with. We're standing here, we're breathing, our heart is beating. Yeah. I'm communicating to you. You're hearing what I'm saying, you're understanding it, you're processing it and you're replying. Do you think that this is just random as well? I think me coming to you, yeah. because I work at Harris. Okay. And we always see the, the pre Quran okay. outside Harris. We're very heavily in the Middle Eastern. Okay, of course, yeah. Business. Me moving to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it's all a sign. I, I'm a very respectful person. That's good. I can guy. see, I can see, yes. And I like to understand yeah. people's culture and uh -huh. their beliefs. Yeah. So I can make my own judgments. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. So I, I've always said, you know the cat on the fence? Uh, I know, yeah, the expression sitting on the fence, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, the cats, they walk, they sit on the fence. Yeah. They determine whether or not to jump down uh -huh. and congregate or yeah. they... So I'm the cat on the fence. Okay. I like to walk on the fences, watch what's okay. going on, yes. and then I judge and determine okay. whether it's for me. Okay. And, you know, I'm never going to say maybe, you know, I'm going to be a devout Muslim. Uh -huh. I'm never going to say I'm a devout Christian, okay. even though I was baptized. Uh -huh. um, you know, that was my parents' decisions. Uh -huh. And I think because what happened to my mum, yeah. and because I've lived in London for such a long time, yeah. and I've grown up in a very multicultural society, yeah. you know, I think, if I'm honest, yeah. Islam has had a bit of a uh, tough ride over the past 10 years. It's still doing quite well though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not with the, sorry, the thing is, with, uh, without being so insistent, to respect people and their cultures, as in how they dress, how they behave, how their family structures are, their food they eat, is all well and good. It's good. But you know the, the underlying reasons. say Allah Akbar. Yes, Allah Akbar. The re but the reason why they think like this, the reason why they behave like this, because I would still say we have the issue of is there a creator or not? There's something in the, in the Quran, I mean, you can look it up later, but it's chapter 52. And it's uh, two verses. 
concerning is there a creator and it's very interesting because it's, it's only two verses it's quite short but I would say the argument is it can't, it can't actually be uh, responded to or, or refuted so it mentions so, so it's, 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 in the Quran it's very interesting there's a lot of places where questions are asked rather than just telling you you must believe this you must do this there are places like this but the Quran has a lot of places where it asks you a question it wants you to think so Allah asked the question were you created for nothing or did you create yourself did you create the sky and the earth? Then Allah gives a conclusion, He says, but rather they have no certainty. So you know this argument, if I explain the argument, were we created from nothing? So nothing exists and then we came into existence. Everyone with uh, using uh, their reason, their logic, they would say this is impossible. Something which doesn't exist, there's nothing there, it can't bring something into existence. That's one. Then the next question, or did you create yourself? It's not possible that we didn't exist and then, and then we chose to make ourselves. So even though two things are mentioned... Darwinism versus religion. No, not really, because even that's a little bit. That's the controversy between religion and psychology. You know what I would say? No, because Darwinism is explaining once there was a, a original species, one day, once there was a beginning, how we got so many different types of uh, species of human beings. Yeah. This is the process. But Darwinism doesn't. And then you've also got the theory of uh, uh, evolution versus uh, the destruction of the ecosystem. Okay, we can come to that after. Ah, you see. No problem, but you know Darwinism. I think we're the same yeah. uh, society they reckon. Yeah. Right? But the thing is, Darwinism doesn't explain how did you get that first living being. It's explaining they had a living being and by random mutation and uh, how would you say, survival of the fittest, that we got so many different species. But it still doesn't explain how did we come into existence and that's the question we're on first. So the, this verse in Quran it mentions two things. Did you create? Were you created for nothing, or did you create yourself? This is it's very clear that no one can say we were created for nothing. No one can say we created ourselves. So this necessitates that there has to be a God. Yeah. There has to be a God. Let me continue. Then we'll come back. Then it said, "Did you create the heavens and the earth?" So we are living on a planet. We're living in the atmosphere, we have air, we breathe, we have the, the sun, we have the rain, everything. We didn't create this ourselves. Something had to create this. And then lastly, which I find uh, the most interesting, the verse, it finishes where Allah, he makes a conclusion. He says, But rather, they have no certainty. Okay. If you read or if you listen to all of the people who propose evolution, uh, the Big Bang Theory, that there's no creator, etc. You will never find any of them have, a, have certainty. They, they will say, we think it's this, that it could be something else, we're still looking into it, we hope that one day science will give us the answer. So it's actually 1,400 years ago, the Quran has made a, an announcement, those people who don't believe in the creator, they will never have certainty. And this is something which we found out today. So we still go back to the point of there has to be a creator. That's that's the, the first thing. I think that's fake, isn't it? It's it's uh, it's belief based on reason. And if you look at the see where I see it, yeah. And it, we can talk about this all day. We can. You imagine like you're born. Yeah. You're a child. You're a baby. Yeah. yeah. You're like a white canvas. Yeah. 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 And then as you grow up, yeah. The outside factors start to hate your canvas to start to determine who you're going to be. 
to, an effect, to, to a certain aspect, yeah. When you get to a certain level of maturity, yeah. Yeah. you start, you can either go with the grain, uh -huh. or you can go, I don't believe this is right, this is uh -huh. uh, not for me, and yeah. I want to do this. Uh -huh. Or you can be like me, uh -huh. look out on the fence, okay. and you can sit there and you can watch all the societies and all the cultures. Yeah. So you would fall under the Bella Yukino, but rather they have no certainty. Do you, do you not find it interesting that you're in this life and it's a temporary life? We are going to leave this world one day and you're not, you have no certainty. So I was married for 12 years. Okay. And I've just been divorced. I lost my son 14 years ago. Yeah. And. Uh -huh. Moving to Saudi Arabia, which is the complete opposite of London. Yeah. And, you know, is that a decision that I made? I'm not sure. Is that a job that I got offered? I turned down the opportunity to go to uh -huh. the Middle East before. Yeah. I've um, always been drawn. There, to the there's, a, there's an aspect of choice. Like, for example, you saw us today and you chose to come over. At any moment, you're, obviously, you're not a prisoner. At any, any moment, you can leave. So you do have a choice. I mean, yeah, there, there yeah, are. Nice time, giving you the time. No Give problem. You YouTube time. Thank you very much. There are factors around us How that many affect us. Are get on this? No idea. No idea. But there are factors around us which influence us. Uh, what society we're born in, born in, what time we're born in, if we're wealthy, if we're poor. These affect us. Yeah. But, but in all of this, we still have choices. At the end of the day, yeah. I always believe we're going to die alone. Uh -huh. You're gonna do luck, you're gonna die uh -huh. as you came into the world. The only thing yes. that you can, the only yeah, thing that you. you can influence yeah. is your time on it. And that's pay respect to your man uh -huh. or loving the wife or loving or uh -huh. after your children. But we would say one step further. You have this choice in this life, but according to the choices you make, the beliefs which you choose or you reject, the actions which you do, whether good or bad, it will have an effect on your hereafter. Will they give you sunscreen? Uh, no. <laughs> I've just noticed the ginger in your beard, so um, no, and you, the heat on the some, back of my neck. Sometimes I wear a hat. But, okay. Yes. But uh, that aside, we still have that question. Yeah, yeah. I, I would... Perhaps we're not going to reach a conclusion today, but I would... Oh, there's I would, a lot of therapy to get to that conclusion. Yes, but even even the issue of your, your mother passing yeah. away or your divorce, this I wouldn't say affects is there a God or if there isn't a God. Because, for example, if a person's mother was still alive or the person was still in a happy marriage, there still is a God or not, or there's not yeah. a God. But in the Quran, in chapter 2, it mentions... It's quite interesting because usually... I think society has put us in a position where when someone says there is a God, whether they're Muslim, Christian, Jew, etc., it feels like there's an obligation that they have to explain why they believe in the God. The Quran takes it another way. In chapter 2 it mentions, Allah asks, again, it's a question. How do you disbelieve in Allah? considering that you were dead, meaning before life, and then we gave you life. And then after this life, we will cause you to die. And then we will cause you to come back to life again in the hereafter, and you will return to us. So this thing of this initial question, the first question, how do you disbelieve in a God? Most people, they're very uh, comfortable asking a religious person, but why do you believe? Why do you have faith? But if the question is turned and said, like if I put you on the spot now, I know you're on the YouTube, etc. But how how can you not believe in a God? How can you not believe in a God? Considering you're here, considering the sun is shining, considering the process of life in your mother's stomach for nine months, you're born, you're crawling, your teeth grow, you begin to walk. You, your facial hair grows, then it turns white, etc. You know, there's a constant process around us. We see the the spring, the summer, the autumn, the winter. We That's see the rain falling. So how how can you not believe in a god? You put me on the spot here. So the reason I don't fully believe there's a god yeah. is because I'm still open for the decision and oh, yeah. discussions. Yeah. But at the same time, 
I am in a process of my life where yeah. I've decided okay. where my path will go. Okay. So that could be, like I just said, I've been sat in London Bridge for the past three hours, uh -huh. watching the bush that I, I first came to yeah. London 20 years ago. Okay. And I've seen it and, you know, it's... It must it's, have been very strange sitting there. I think people were a bit insane. No, but even for yourself, like, imagining I was yeah, here 20 years well, ago. You know, yeah. And so it's from that aspect where I'm in a process currently in my life where, yeah. you know, religion aside, if someone needs help, yeah. I'll help them. Which is, very good. Them. Which is very good. But that's, so it doesn't matter if you're Christian or uh -huh. Hindu or Muslim or Jewish. Can I ask you a question related yeah. to that? Not, I'm not asking in a selfish way. You, for example, you have a job, you have some money in your pocket, and then you see a person who's they're having difficulties, they're having problems. And then you, you go to the shop, you buy them a sandwich, you give them a sandwich. Now, you're not doing it so people say, you're a great man, but you, you, do you feel some sort of satisfaction when you do it? Not, not in a selfish way. I don't see, I don't see it as satisfaction, I just see it as, you know, it's nice to help people. Yeah. If not, you have the ability to help people, you should help people. Yeah. But you, I, I'm not, I'm not saying that you start thinking, wow, I'm a great man, but I'm saying you do have some kind of uh, pleasure or satisfaction in helping someone. It's not, it's not pleasure or satisfaction. Yeah. I don't get pleasure or satisfaction uh, out of it. I know from personal experiences. Yeah. yeah. You know, 20 years ago, you know, I was on the streets. Uh -huh. I, ended, I made a lot of bad decisions. Uh -huh. And it was people around me that sorted me out, put yeah. me on the right path sort of thing, uh -huh. put me in the framework to be uh -huh. successful. And, you know, I think when you look at homeless people, you know, a lot of homeless people in the UK males are ex-military anyway. Uh -huh. And that was due to mental yeah, of course. illness, and yeah. you know that's because we, as a country, have failed them. Mm -hmm. We haven't given the support, whether it is you know faith or a belief yeah. or something to look at. Yeah, you know, to wake up every morning. You know, they're still going the old same fundamental of Basically, they're like they're like cannon fodder. Yeah, and you I, know, you see them on the street, and you think. You know, these guys have given their whole lives for our country uh -huh. and it doesn't matter what country they're in uh -huh. if a country then turns their back on them uh -huh. and they need help yeah then we as you know uh -huh. people should be there helping on the side issue when the, when these people are given their life for queen and country or king and country queen king or god yeah, yeah. do you do you think they actually i mean many of them they believe that but do you think that those people who send them off, their their issue was king, queen, and country, or do you think it people was? To, send them off. Yeah. Do you think it was you more? Mean the higher management. If you call them the elite, do you think that yeah. their, their interest was? Uh, no, their interest is uh, one-sided. Financial. Uh, yeah, financial so power. Financial. Con power financial. control. Yeah. 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 Look, so I, I think I'm they were used. Work, I'm going to work for the Saudis. Yeah. And I currently work for the Qatar. Okay. Family, yeah. So we're Paris. Okay. So we maybe block that, block that one out. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, it's all financial. Of course. Game. Yeah. And, you know, I think like the Saudi environment, it's you know, it's very Islamic based. Uh huh. Um, what's it called? Shah Sorry. Sahara law. No. Uh, they call it Sharia law. Sharia law. law. Yeah. Yeah. So uh -huh. everything's like very old school. To, to an extent. To an extent. But I would say, because it is, it's one thing sitting, standing in London and we're talking about it, but when you actually see it in practice, even if it's not 100%, I think you will notice the, the benefits. Because yeah. what happens is when, when we hear Sharia law in the West, I understand you don't think like this, but some people Sharia law means um, stoning someone to death, chopping someone's head off. But Sharia law covers, you know, taking care of your parents, uh, fulfilling the rights it of your wife. Yeah. The, uh, standards in life, basically. Yeah. yeah. You know, you respect your parents, you respect yeah. your children, you respect yeah. your life. Yeah. You respect your man. Yeah. You don't steal. Yeah. Don't, uh, what's it called? The way you don't defile yourself. Okay, yes. You keep yourself pure. Yes. Basically, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That's good. No, there's basically the, the scholars in Islam. They looked over the whole Quran and Sunnah or the Sharia law, and they've actually said that there's uh, five objectives to Islam. One is the protection of religion. People, they can follow their religion, they can worship one God, etc. The religion is protected. It's, it's not something where we can have a mocking of other religions or criticizing other religions. People are, are free to choose their religion and practice their religion. Um, life. Islam, it respects life. It respects the, the intellect. Hence why alcohol, um, intoxicating drugs are forbidden. Uh, what do you think about um, obviously Middle East countries flexing to the West? Because um, obviously Dubai is very westernized now. Yes. Qatar is very westernized. Yeah. yeah. And obviously Saudi. Yeah. They are moving. Uh -huh. I think it's next year yeah. they're going to yeah. legalize alcohol. In, in some areas, I believe, yes. It's like hotels and I, I think in different areas. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, problematic, very yeah. problematic. So what's, the, um, what's the journey to uh, Mecca called? Oh, Hajj. Yeah, yeah Hajj. The, the pilgrimage. Yeah, in general, obviously, there's a lot of people that come over. Yes. And they start the Hajj. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hajj? Hajj, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so you land, in, you land in Jeddah, yeah, then yeah, you make yeah. your way. You're impressed, yeah? Sorry? You're a little bit impressed, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. It's, it's good, it's good, yeah, it's good, yeah. Sorry about this. No problem. Um, See, see the thing, let me just continue, then I'll come back to that point. So, I am gonna have to go soon, though, yeah. No problem, no problem. I've got a dinner date in half an hour. No problem, so. that's good. So, Islam it protects religion, it protects life, uh, it protects the, the intellect, it protects the, the family lineage, as in, in Islam, uh, adultery, fornication is forbidden. So, everyone should know who is their father, who is their father, etc., etc. And then lastly, it protects property. So people, they find it harsh, but if a person, they steal out of greed, not out of a necessity, but they steal out of greed, then the, the legislated law is their hand should be cut in a public place. People, they find it extremely harsh. But when you go to uh, Muslim countries, one, because of the but people believe in, in God and they believe in the, they'll be accountable in, the, in the, their judgment, but also because of the laws. Property is safe. Like, you know, the idea of um, locking your front door, locking your car. Yeah, people like find it. People, people, in the 1960s. people find it very strange. Like, I, I, I was at college when I was young, long time ago, and uh, I had a, an, uh, an English teacher who was an engineer in Saudi. He said that he left his, him and his wife were walking in the shopping mall and she left her purse. They said they came back four hours and the purse was still there. Okay. So you, ha you have these laws, but they actually protect the family, like they the protect mind. the society. Yeah. 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 Nobody will ever touch it. Yeah. But I think I it's mean, the cultural. The yeah. Yeah. But in general, they do. Yeah. So I think it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the, the belief in Allah and the Day of Judgment, yeah, yeah. but also the, the law as well. And it has an effect upon the people. So, but as for the changes they're making, I think they're going to regret it. Yeah. But even in those lands, there's still many very good people, very pious people. And I think it's a case of um, one of the things which he said, like in the West, we have the, uh, we have the opportunity to taste both, both worlds. And we've seen that if you go this way, this will happen. Yeah. If you go this way, this will happen. So we have more of an of a informed choice. I think some of the people, they've just looked at the glitter of what the West has to offer. And, and they, they want to try it. Or they want to bring it to their lands without realizing the problems it brings. So I, I, a lot of noise. And, and problems. So I, I, I hope that some of them are going to taste the outcome and then and then and then abandon it but yeah it's, it is a struggle anyway sir thank you very much for your time nice like no problem hour, no? possibly more possibly more Go on, i'll do a selfie with you and i'll send it to you okay no problem you do a selfie i don't mind it's your yeah. choice what's your uh where am i sending that
Oh no, you don't have to send it. It's, it's yours to keep. No, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna prove. I'm gonna. Okay. Like there's a girl in uh, Jeddah. Okay. So I'm learning her way of life, basically. Okay, no problem. Smile. Okay. There you go. Okay, sir. I should have asked your name at the beginning. Daniel. Daniel. You, sir. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Lama. We're here every Saturday if you have any more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll visit you in Jeddah one day. I'm Harris. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, what department are you in? Kitchens. Okay. But, so we see these signs outside yeah. Harrods a lot. Okay. But is it all the same sort of community? Or is uh, it different? No, I, th I think it's different organizations. Okay. We probably, we probably see eye to eye on, um, on all issues. We, they are Muslim brothers. But I think everyone... They do it themselves. I think, okay. I think some of the ones in central London, they have like a network. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe like 10 tables or 20. Okay. But yeah. Anyway, Daniel, thank so, you very much for your time. What was your name? Yusuf. Thank as you. in Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Yusuf. No problem. Nice okay. You, yeah. you as well. Thank, thank you very you much. Nice.